Star Collective Space. Hold while we scan your ship. Scan complete. You're clear to land. Free Star Rangers. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They looked like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. Didn't even ask if it was for sale. Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was gonna regret it. Then they left. Back behind the house are some canyons. They went that way. That place is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures, too. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. But there must be more of them coming. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find these men. All right, deputy. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Since these guys don't know we're after them, they're probably not making an effort to hide their tracks. Now, let's go and check out those people. Boot tracks. Several pairs by the look. Not too old, either. Let's head down into the canyon and see if we can find more. Sightlines here are terrible. Anything could be ahead. Or behind for that matter. Back when I was a kid, I used to love exploring and making maps. These canyons would have kept me busy for months. I'd have looked into every nook and cranny. Watch it! If you don't mind, I'll let you skin that one. Good eye, deputy. Looks like we're heading in the right direction.
How much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? I don't know whether to be flattered or concerned. I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Co and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, <laughs> he'd flat out deck him. I am. And I'm not. Yeah, there, uh, there was a time, well before Koro, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Cora to... <laughs> I don't know. Your kind words are appreciated. For my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Coe. He looked out at the stars, and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now... <laughs> I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? <laughs> That's what I like about you. Well... I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. Definitely passed this way. 
Let's just hope they're not perched up on these canyon walls, waiting to snipe us. Nice to get out under the sky. Get ready! You're a natural tracker. Smell that? I'd bet my badge that's wood smoke from a campfire. Close. Be ready. Fun times ahead. Stay frosty. You're right next to damn neighborhood. The standoff at the bank ought to keep the marshal tied up for a while. Wait. You mean that whole thing was a setup to keep the rangers distracted? <laughs> that don't concern you. We're, We're gonna, gonna have some fun. fun. Well now, look who's here. Ms. Wagner called in the cavalry. <laughs> Except it ain't much of a cavalry. I suggest you turn around and walk away while you still can. A firefight here could get messy. Some good old-fashioned talking might be the ticket. You think you're in a position to make demands. Well, I've got news for you. All you're getting from me is a shallow grave. So, got any last words I should try to remember? Oh, I think it does. We've been found out! Don't let him leave here alive!
Damn, that was a lot rougher than I expected. Let's talk. Find anything interesting? Let's see what we have here. Hmm, interesting. So, their ship was stolen from the Hope Tech factory. Whoever pulled that off must have been one hell of a shipjacker. Well, I guess someone really wants that farm bad. Speaking of which, let's get back there and let Miss Wagoner know that she's safe. For now. this. What's the news? These guys are doing really well for themselves. Good on them. What happened? Did you find those men? Well, it's good to see you're all right then. They must have been crazy or desperate, trying to take on the Free Star Rangers. So who were they? And why do they want my farm? So I have no way of knowing if there aren't more coming. Guess I'll start sleeping with a gun nearby. I can't thank you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. Of course. All the same. I'm grateful. If you have any more trouble, give us a call. We're in system, so it won't take long to get someone out here. All right, deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the marshal.
Just promise me we ain't going to visit Jacob, all right? Running the spacers, scumbags and scavengers. We got a lot of bars in the city. These rangers are some hard-blooded folk. What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off their land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and... Unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. For the time being, yes. But you could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? If that's true, then someone must have hired them. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Oak Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Freestar militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. Didn't you fight in the colony war, Marshal? That sound familiar at all? The first cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it anyway. The 1st Cavalry lost almost all their mechs and soldiers in a big push to take the United Colonies base. 
They were just about there when a ceasefire order came down. Both sides had just lost too much by then. It was a bloodbath. The commanding officer of the first disobeyed the order. He didn't want the lives of his soldiers to be sacrificed for nothing. And he court-martialed him and the rest of the surviving officers and locked them all up. I suppose it ain't impossible, but it's real damn unlikely. The unit was pretty much wiped out, and the few that survived ended up in prison after a court-martial for disobeying orders. I don't recall how long the sentence was. Hell, it's our only lead. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. The ruling body that oversees the Free Star Collective and the Rangers. The council members are the political and corporate elite of the Free Star Collective, so we have to tread lightly when we're dealing with them. Proud, stubborn, and smart. A self made man. He built Hope Tech through blood, sweat, and sheer willpower. Good. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, deputy. Work with the other rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. Nicely done. I think one man made all of this. Nothing was here until Ron Hope.
Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. You need my help. Uh, I'd laugh if it didn't hurt so much. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. I'll be fine once the pain medication kicks in. The priority right now is the ship. Can't do my job without it. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Thanks. I owe you one. Rangers always got each other's back. That should get me home. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. They look to be heading for Polvo's moon, Miatha. Good hunting.
Star Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. You're good to go. All clear to land at Hopetown. I think one man made all of this. Nothing was here until Ron Hope. I don't want to hear any complaints. Hopes the best thing that's happened to us. This was literally nothing. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust. I'm sure they didn't want to die any more than you did. It's a pointless and stupid waste of life, but they brought it on themselves. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the Starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. No, and I can't get answers as to why not. I'm sure Mr. Hope has his reasons. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Trucks in space. <laughs> Their motto always cracks me up. Council oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile them up. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the Keep man. Keep an eye on your valuables. Everything you see around you, if you can't he protect built. Your own, you don't Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. I can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor. Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. outsourcing. Do a contract with scavengers, maybe, but that's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well, now, the free star rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, Dan, good to see you again. I think we're done here, Merchant. Yes, sir. 
This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a free star ranger. We certainly could use more of you. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. That's the spirit. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. I'm glad we understand each other. I'd take Ron Hope over Benjamin Bayou any day of the week. Looks like we got a job to do. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me, what does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <laughs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now, you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust, and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. You've got a reputation for looking after your own, Mr. Hope. I'm sure the deputy here will keep that in mind. Is that so? Well, I'm glad to hear it. I've worked hard to make sure that everyone here is well cared for.
I'm glad we understand one another. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the event. A breakthrough at last. Well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Yeah, me too. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station fair. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. He's what I'd call a pragmatist. He sees things for what they are. He's also well-connected, which means a lot on Neon. You should listen to what he tells you. It'll keep you out of trouble. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. Yeah, the question of who helped the Starship Thief is still an open one. Don't you worry. I'll keep an ear to the ground. You be careful in Neil. Personally, I think Neon's the heart of a free stock Coochie's a lot of fun. This is a big core here. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? Marshall's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here, but this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. You can count on my help if you play by the rules. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. 
Neon's a tough, tough assignment. The ecosystem is rigged against any real law enforcement. Good. That's a smart play. As much as it rankles. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. Come on. It's pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. You learned quickly that in Neon, staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the Marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank, That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind, and you'll fit right in. So I told them, sorry, but I am not traveling half Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs> a second what oh it's you give me a good scare i thought you were one of goodness people sure far from it our new deputy here is working a case and i thought you might be able to help take it away rookie what do you need hmm a stolen hope tech ship huh well here's the thing Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? I can see where this is going. Yeah, well, I'm one of them. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. This Emmett Goodman sounds like a real class act. <sighs> yeah. He's bad even by neon standards. <laughs> and that's saying something. From where I'm standing, seems like our problems are intertwined like a couple of fuel lines in a thruster assembly. Yeah, sure they do.
Yeah, I hope so. I hope I can trust you. Hmm, maybe. Need to think about it. Glad you understand the position I'm in here. I haven't agreed to anything yet. I'm sorry, but this is my life we're talking about. If you were in my position, I'm sure you'd feel the same. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebb's side. The place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door He's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tang with me. You'd better keep walking. This is private property. Do you now? I hear you. Not happening. Look, I'd like to help, but... Thank you. You go in, talk to the man, and then you come right back out. Try anything stupid, and it's your funeral. Yeah, this will get you in. Something I can do for you, friend. Well, now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are you? Ah, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf, but I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. I can't tell if he's kidding or not. If you're attempting to appeal to my good nature, you're proceeding under a false premise. You see, in my line of work, it doesn't exactly pay to be soft. What's your stake in this, anyway? Well, I'm afraid that's just none of my concern. Then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. Let's just calm down now.
Well, that's easy to promise, but I ain't sure you can deliver on what you're suggesting. I know all about that. Ain't no need for that. Well, I suppose I could make an exception. It's just this once, you understand. It just promise me you'll keep my compassionate nature a secret. Folks might try to take advantage. Can't squeeze any aurora from these fish. Make assumptions. Are you ready for anything? Did you talk to Goodman? Yeah. I figured he wouldn't want to make an enemy of the Freestar Rangers. Glad the badge still means something around here. Hmm. The Syndicate doesn't worry all that much about the Rangers. I think our new deputy here is just a real smooth talker. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Funny, stop it. Tevin Anastas has run into some Love your fit. It may not work for some. A free star ranger and his what are you? A sidekick or something? Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Wow. Good for you. If that was supposed to impress me, it didn't. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right?
All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men, and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? Hey, all I did was provide them with transportation. They didn't say anything about where they were going or why. Look, I wouldn't have gotten involved if I thought anyone would be hurt. I've got no love for violence. Not asking questions is just as bad as giving consent. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. I do want to make things right. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first, and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech, and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery, and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. Only some kind of offhanded comment about their client wanting to expand the operation ahead of schedule. In my line of work, you learn not to ask a lot of questions. It tends to make people uncomfortable. You serious? Take your pick. Money, reputation, the thrill of it. All good reasons. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Yeah, sure. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Suits me. I'm getting too old for this line of work. Besides, I'm going out on a high note. Ain't many can say they grabbed a ship right out of Hope Deck. Should make a good story for the kids one day. Yes?
Hope no one recognizes me here. Deputy! Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Oh, I can't fly anywhere. Issues with my eustachian tubes. Being in a pressurized environment is like someone taking a laser cutter to the sides of my head. It's not great, but at least I can pretend to visit the party capital of the galaxy by having you tell me about it. What? You serious? Well, that's a first. Well, I guess not everyone likes to have a good time. Speaking of which, on to business. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. Hey there, deputy. Let's talk to him. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. You're off to a good start. But that's all it is, a start. What did you learn from this starship thief? Well done, deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I could give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move.
There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money. And when the 1st Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk the family fortune came from smuggling, and I believe it. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. But I guess that got put on hold when they locked him up. They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. Like what? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Free Star Collective space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Free Star Collective space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy, so it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Free Star Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, deputy. Sorry, I plain forgot what I wanted to talk with you about. <sighs> that girl. If Cora leaves her tools out one more time... I mean, I love her more than life itself, but I can only say the same damn thing so many times. <laughs> That's Cora to a T. I mean, this is between me and you. But Korra wasn't exactly planned. I don't know if I mentioned, but I served a spell in the Freestar Rangers. Had a partner, Lillian Hartz. Well, we were like fire and ice, but, uh, well, it wasn't all bad. It wasn't always like it is now. Hell, when Cora was born, I was completely out of my depth. For the first few months, I kept thinking, what a colossal mistake I made. Me, a father. But one late night, early morning, whatever, little Cora gave me my first smile. And I knew I'd do anything for that girl. Yeah, sure don't feel like it. You said Cora's great, and I think so too. But I see so much of myself in her. I've, uh... I've done things I'm not proud of. i <laughs> said things even worse. I try to be better for Cora, but... Is she gonna fall into the same traps? Maybe. When she's older. I know it seems crazy, towing her across the stars, but I'm not exactly swimming with options here. Her mother... Like I said, another story another time. And what, have her raised by Jacob, my dad? I'd sooner ship her off to Vladimir. You think? Well, she does say the damnedest things. 
And if she just learned to pick up after herself, she just might live until she's 13. If you're looking for the Rangers, check the upper level.